Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Now, first things first, I have just made this stonking vegan Kentucky Fried Saitan Burger. You're seeing it on the screen right now. It was actually quite fun making this. I haven't actually tasted it yet. Oh, yeah, that is amazing. That is stonking. You've got like the real texture, the fibrousness, which the Saitan gives you right in there. And we've made this from scratch. I'm gonna come back to you in a minute, all right? Honestly, that is amazing. That has blown my mind. Uh, the full method and ingredients and write up all that stuff on my website if you're not there already. Let's rewind to a couple of months ago, maybe a good few months ago now, my friend Lettuce and I headed to London and he tried to convince me about this place called, um, I think it was the Temple of Saitan or the Temple of Hackney. And they basically did Saitan, which I've never tried before, uh, fried chicken. They did a burger very similar to that. It actually blew my mind. So much so that I said that I'd try it one day and I have just done it. As you know, I've been doing a batch of vegan recipes at the moment. This is the last one in this initial batch right now, but there is a full playlist over the years that I have done of vegan and vegetarian inspiration. But this out of all of it is the most challenging because we're making the patty from scratch and you're gonna need some quite unique ingredients. Especially if like me, you like meat as well, uh, you're probably not gonna have. Nutritional yeast, this helps give it a bit of a cheesy flavor, but we are using vegan cheese slices as well. Vital wheat gluten, uh, this basically arrived half exploded in the packet, it just went And also some chickpea flour. This one's actually made in Glastonbury, near where I live, where they have that festival. Oh, and by the way, my inspiration for this video was, um, in fact, I'll just blow this up and put it right there. Uh, the chicken zinger, you see that diagram right there? I did quite a good job actually, didn't I? So the first thing we're gonna do is make our Saitan, which I wanna call Satan, and no doubt the comments box will be full of Satan puns. Just for the hell of it. It's actually much simpler than you think. So all we wanna do is take our dry ingredients. So that is the vital wheat gluten, the nutritional yeast, and the chickpea flour. You wanna just put that all into a large bowl together along with some seasoning. We can add things in like garlic powder, cumin, and paprika. I love paprika. But proper load it and go to town with it. You're gonna mix that all through so you've got all your dry ingredients into one consistent dry universal powder. Then all I did was get myself a good quality vegetable stock and poured that straight into those dry ingredients. As you stir it through, it will start to become a little bit clumpy and almost straight away you start to realize that this thing is actually quite thready from like this whole powder and liquid mixture. This kind of blew my mind. I was being able to sort of like take little pieces and tear it into strands. It was actually pretty fun. So once you've thoroughly mixed that together and be sure to scrape and get every little bit of flour at the bottom, you're gonna take that out and then start to knead it just like it's a dough. Effectively, you are making a slab of dough here but you really, really need to work it. You get the gluten in there working, it's all stretchy. And the really cool thing that I liked about it with all of that kneading going on is that it wasn't actually sticky at all. It would kind of stay together as one lump and it was kind of addictive. It smelled really good as well. I wanted to bottle it up and make Saitan aftershave for men. Keep working and kneading that dough for about 10 minutes and then leave it to stand for another 10 minutes. Whilst that's happening, grab some more vegetable stock pour it into a saucepan with some bay leaves. And what we're gonna do is bring that up to a simmer. This was all new to me. I had no idea what was gonna happen, but all I knew is I had this massive slab of saitan dough and I just kind of wanted to replicate a chicken breast. So I grabbed some more chickpea flour and started to roll out the dough and cut it into portions. So I had kind of what I thought would be a chicken thing, but then once I cook it in a minute, I could always cut it to size later, which is what I did. The stock flavor is actually gonna get absorbed into the saitan and it will grow in size. Some recipes I was looking to follow sort of said that they, that wasn't gonna happen. Others said it would go bloop. It did go bloop. So I restricted you just two in the pan and simmered it away for a good 30 minutes. After half an hour, you just turn down the heat and leave it to cool down fully in there before transferring to a board. It will be super, super moist. Don't worry about that. And then chill it. This will actually help it firm up. If you skip that step, you'll end up with a soggy saitan. Hello, I'm soggy saitan. But of course, whilst all of that's happening, you can do exciting things like uh, get your buns ready and slice up your lettuce. We can also replicate our batter dipping station with a bowl of uh, plain flour, uh, some extra chickpea flour, as I mentioned earlier. I didn't really sort of do any measurement with that. I just dumped it in the bowl and kept adding water and stirring it through. I did actually need to use quite a lot of water in the end, but I kept going until I had a sort of watery egg-like mixture. 
In the ingredients list on the website, you'll notice there's a whole host of spices for that breadcrumb batter and panko breadcrumbs, which are mwah, super crispy. We're gonna basically mix all of those together until you've got a nice seasoned panko topping. So I was just having a break from my narration. That is so good and tastes just like the one uh, that I had in London. Oof. We are nearly there though, actually. So all you need to do is grab yourself a large saucepan and half fill it with some sunflower oil and warm it up. You know the oil is hot when you chuck in a little piece of bread and it browns within about sort of five to 10 seconds. It can be a little bit moist, but you need to make sure as much of that moisture is out of it, but by sticking it in the plain flour, first of all, and coating it round, that will actually stem that and also begin the first part of the coating process. Take it from the plain flour into our watered chickpea flour mixture, which will help coat it again and kind of replicate what an egg would do. And then we sit it into our panko breadcrumb topping, lifting all the crumbs on top, shake off any excess though, and lift it out so you've got this amazing crumbed seitan patty. Sorry, I know I'm getting excited for this, but it is so good. So with our oil ready, all we're looking to do is brown that seitan dunk it in and fry it through. It will not take very long at all, so please keep your eye on it. It's my new thing, I've done that in a couple of videos recently, I might just do that in every video. Lift it out of the pan and it'll be a gorgeous golden brown color. Place it down on kitchen towel just to absorb any excess oil and we are ready to construct that. <clears throat> Build this thing any way you want. I did trim down the seitan patty slightly just so it fitted on there neatly. I had a little bit to one side, hence my belief that if you were having it solo without any of that, I'd probably flavor it a little bit more. Place that on there, more vegan cheese on top, some lettuce, pile that all on there, and then your lid, your toasted lid, spread on some vegan mayonnaise and dump that on top. That is basically it. In my mind, it looks amazing and it tastes delicious too. And with a base seitan recipe like that, you can do lots of other things like jerk chicken. You can even do a steak as well with different marinades and rubs. Play around with it and ram it full of flavor. Now then, before I go, for the month of September, I'm gonna make it all about you. In the comments below, let me know down below what video you wanna see next. If you see a recipe suggestion that you like or that you are gonna propose, then it's already there. Give it a thumbs up so it will go nearer the top. And from that top pile, I will pick one and we'll do that for the whole of September, I think. Yeah. All right, that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe for regular videos. Follow me on social media at My Virgin Kitchen. And I'll see you next time. Good luck. Try it. Take a picture.